I also work with small children at the school, helping them with reading and math, so I enjoy some children's crafts too. I'm new to YouTube, but I've been decorating and crafting for a long time. I would love to thank you, Arlen, for the shout out on your channel. I've been watching you. You are so inspiring. Your ideas are fabulous, and you're, you have such a warm, kind heart, and I thank you so much for giving me that shout out. It meant a lot to me really did. So I'd like to welcome all of you and thank you so much all of you that came over due to Arlene. You said hello. I tried to shout back on the comments and please feel free to comment below on any suggestions you'd like to see on videos. Okay, so I'm going to start. Let's talk decorating and crafting. So I am doing some spring decorating and for I, this year I decided to do an Easter Christmas tree which will, I will be showing in future videos. Now I left up my eight foot tree from Christmas. I did a Valentine tree and then I decided to do an Easter tree. Now to fill an Easter tree I needed a lot of things so I decided I'd try to do my decorating on a budget and I like to um, hopefully some of you will be inspired by some of these ideas. Everybody has a different way of tweaking it but it, you know it's just the idea and the concept of it. So some of the crafts I made for the tree are this is one I made. This is a white bunny I purchased at the dollar store. It was glittered and bright, colorful, and I basically put two coats of white Waverly chalk paint and I added a big dusty rose flower and some leaves and little berries. This was basically from a, a, this was actually just a flower I had left over in the house, but some of my others, which I will show you, the other bunny, I made three of these. This, this bunny, I picked, uh, I bought a floral, bunch from the dollar store so it basically cost me two dollars to make so I did the same thing I painted this bunny white and I added flowers the way I did the flowers on these I cut the stems off and I just really wanted to use the buds and I just glued the leaves that was the way I did these and of course I add ribbon so that I'll be able to hang them on the tree or they could hang in a wreath you could use them in several ideas but I just adore these little white bunnies. But the theme for my Easter Christmas tree is pink, white, and blue. Another DIY I did for the tree is I found this Easter purse at the dollar store for little girls. I stuffed it with plastic bags and I did the same type of floral decorations on it. Little buds, little berries, and little leaves. And for the top, I just glued together some pastel eggs and made like a little and this is how I am going to hang it on the tree just like with the little handles and I made about three of these so once I when I made the crafts I definitely did you know three four of each one to have on the tree so those are just two of them I have a few more to show you I will show that in my future video and eventually I will show the tree I wanted to show another DIY of what I did with a dollar store sign I like to sometimes change things up from the dollar store. So my living room has antique colors and I wanted a vintage look on this sign. So this was the sign I purchased from the dollar store, okay? It's cute. It's It just wasn't the colors I was looking for for my living room. I wanted a vintage look. So what I did, and you can comment below if you'd also like to see a DIY on that, I got a glaze This actually I had in my house Okay, it was a decorative glaze. You can tell I've, I've, I've used it a lot. I do a lot of little projects. And I put it over the bunny sign with a paintbrush. And then I wiped it off up and down in the direction, same direction when I wiped it up and down to give like streaks of wood. And I also sanded a little bit of the glitter before I did this. There was glitter, I just sanded. It, was, it didn't take too long, I just did a little sanding. and. I am so happy with the way this turned out. This is exactly the look I wanted. I wanted like a little vintage look. I'm going to probably put this at the bottom, like the mantle spot of, uh, near, the, near my fireplace somewhere. And this is the, way, the look I was going for. So I will be doing the other one 
if you'd like to see a DIY on this, it's, it's really quick, but I, I'd be more than happy to tape that when I do this one. All right, so I'm gonna do my first decorate with me. Hopefully it will go smoothly. Have patience with me, I'm trying my best here. <laughs> but I love doing it, right? Here we go. All right, so I actually started with some. I have a book here, a book box, and I put some greenery. I'm gonna go around to talk about it. <clears throat> I put some greenery garland here. You can see my hand, and I added some pitz berry, okay? And here is a cross. My lovely niece Lila bought this for me for Christmas, and I wanted to put this under the lamp so the shine, the light shines on the crystal. So that's going here. And I added it to a pot because it wasn't quite high enough for the look I wanted. So I just used glue dots. Thank you, Arlen, for that tip on holding things down with glue dots. So that's what I did. I used glue dots to hold it onto the pot. And you're not going to see it. It's really going to just be hidden with the greenery. So that's my plan for there. Okay. On my other side, I made this, also made this craft. If you want to DIY on this, please let me know. I'll be happy to do it. So this was a pot purchased from the dollar store. I made just a simple bow. I made a little like with um, twine. I made kind of trying to make a little flower. I'll show it up closer for you. Okay. And I put a little gem in the middle. And I'm sure some of you have seen this ribbon came from the dollar store too. Behind the ribbon, I just did some little poofs just to fill up a little bit behind on the wreath. Very simple all around, just a little greenery, a little beaded. I wanted this one very simple. So this is going to go over here. And I'm going to put, I explained in my other videos, I love bird cages. A bird houses, bird cages, birds, all of it. So I have a bird cage. This has been in my house for years. This also has been many different colors. It's been blue, it's been white, it's been black. Right now it's burgundy. And I love it. I'll put it a little closer so you can see. It's very antique looking. It actually is quite old. It has some little chippy marks there. And you might even see some specks of some other colors that I've painted it over the years. All right, so I'm going to put this on top of the topiary just for a little interest, something different. So that's like that. I'm pushing it to the back and I'm going to do it like kitty corner, okay? And for the next part in the middle, I made this floral arrangement in a teapot. Now this was basically two bushes of florals from the dollar store and these white florals were from Walmart. The flor two florals from the dollar store were a dollar and the white ones were three fifty, dollars I believe, from Walmart and this was just one, one bush. From there so this arrangement cost me five dollars now I will tell you when I did this one I don't even have foam and I basically just pop them all in and you can move it around tweak it fix it however you want and then I'm hoping that I'll be able to save the flowers and reuse them for future projects and this will be changing too. my my decor changes all the time it'll probably change for the summer but these colors for this one I did to match my living room that we're in okay so that I plan to put in the middle here. Okay, push that over. Put that in the middle. Put a flower stuck there. Okay, lost a flower back there, but I will find it. Alrighty, so for the bird cage, I wanted to show a little trick I do with my florals to save money. I take the branches and I cut them all off at the bottom. And then I will take the two stems, let's see if I can take them apart now, I have two stems here and what I do is I twist them together once I cut them off the bush and it makes like a little thing and then I can make a V and I'll just pop it in or if you're doing a swag it can go from either end when you're making a swag it will make it even on each end and you can just turn them and that's a way to use, I like a little trick I like to do with my florals. So I'm bending it 
and I'm just basically sticking this in the bottom of my birdhouse just for a little interest in texture at the bottom okay and I got a couple more I don't want to do too much I don't want to take away from everything but I didn't think it needed something down here and with decor you can always change it or do what you like and you know I move things around change them up so I'm putting that in there and I have two more to add it so just a little bit of leafery I wanted it thicker in the bottom and taper out at the top that was my plan there okay at the end I will move closer so you can see all the stuff closer in person and the last part for my decor I'm going to get is my tea tray. I love this tea tray and I put it, actually I should show you closer. So this is my tea tray. I purchased it from Amazon and I love it. This will be out a lot but I'll change things around it or put things simpler on the tray. So that's going in front. My teapot is gold. I also purchased that from Amazon and here's the little top so I like to kind of lean that near the teapot. Somewhere. It might go near the birdhouse. There you go. So that is my little little display for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you get inspired by my video. I will be showing a close-up as I close this video. And I just want to thank you for being here and thank you so much, Arlen. Bye everybody. Mwah. Okay.